I have met many demon spirits in my life as a man of God. I know they exist. Number one, because the Bible says so. Number two, I have not just seen them. They have confronted me. I'm not talking of a dream. You slept and had a dream and saw whatever it is. And I'm not talking of a movie where you are watching all kinds of things. I have met spirits. They have spoken to me. I have seen them. The memory is etched in my mind forever. I know how they look. I can draw them. You see, the things we have seen, I have seen spirits that oppress people. I have seen spirits that control poverty. I've seen spirits that come in and slip their way through destinies and begin to rewrite rubbish. Some of you are here right now because of the negative influence of those spirits. Casting a negative embargo upon your life that makes things to not be the way God says should be. Even though you have received eternal life, you cannot see the outworkings of eternal life. No favor, no grace, all doors closed, all helpers departed from you. Only evil report gets to the ears of your helpers. Everything good you do, there are spirits that hold them and bury them. And the only thing that proceeds to those who can help you is something negative about you. Calling good evil and calling evil good. Spirits for you. Hallelujah. Let me tell you the truth. Behind most of the tragedies of the saints and the inhabitants in the earth are a myriad of evil spirits walking day and night to make sure they kill everything they can kill. When the Bible says the thief comes to steal, he does not walk alone. Satan is not omnipresent, he's not omniscient, he's not omnipotent. He walks with an array, there is an, an organized satanic keda. Paul himself gave us an intelligent exegesis that the demonic realm is arranged with intelligence. Satan was once with God and he did not lose the memory of organization when he fell. He has an array of wicked spirits programmed to regions, programmed to offices, programmed to families, programmed to individuals. Every believer in Christ has at least one set of spirits sent to you. At least a set. And a set is not one. If you ever had the voice of one, you are joking. The demon spirits that are on earth and around this domain, they far outweigh the inhabitants of the earth such that a legion can manage one body. Did you hear what I said? There is such scarcity of accommodation for demon spirits that a legion should be about six to 10,000. They can make do with one body. So if you think it's only two spirits looking for you, I want you to think again. When you said, God, I will serve you, they had the confession. When you say, God, use me, they had the confession. Are we together? When you prayed and you said, God, let me be the first person to take away shame from my family, they had you. It is not God that responds to the prayers of the saints alone. Demons also respond to the prayers. When they see you fasting and praying, they see something rising from your room to the heavens. They are sent. What is going on here? We need to find out okay ah, he's praying in tongues we cannot understand we are not given to understand but let's study the activities of angels to give us a clue of what he's asking because the angels ascend and descend they excel in strength and they confirm the word so they may not know what you are saying in the prayer language but they can see the returns ascensions and descendings they see what the angels are bringing favor has a, is a spiritual substance you can see it in the spirit and know the difference between favor and any other spiritual thing. Physically, they, they are very abstract to the mind. But in the realm of the spirit, you can see favor. There is substance to favor. There is substance to speed. Hmm. Are we together? Oh! Sometimes they see angels coming and there are certain angels the moment demons see they know that there is you are entering a new season in your life Go and read your Bible. You will never see Gabriel roaming around the earth But if Gabriel shows up, he's bringing a message that defines seasons You never see Michael showing up just like that. No, there are rankings among these spirits 
So when certain angelic activities begin to happen, the signal is sent across the earth because with what is happening in your room, the salvation of 10 million people is connected to it and the demons will not keep quiet. They will say, you know what? Attack this person as fast as you can before the ministry starts. Attack the prayer life. Attack, bring poverty. Make sure the helpers don't reach there. My goodness, I came tonight to disappoint darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I came tonight to establish over your life once and again the victory that is settled in Christ. Do you believe that? This is why we are here. Now listen to me. When we gather in an apostolic and prophetic atmosphere like this, it is important for you to know what God wants to do. Number one, God wants to heal. He wants to heal. The meaning of that is that if you are sick and you are in need of healing, physical, emotional, etc., open up your heart to know that the grace to make that possible is there and then know how to respond accordingly so you don't share the grace don't come here sick and allow the grace to be shared and you walk back it is your responsibility to connect with the anointing what is god doing restoration we live in time how could god ignore restoration we live in time did you hear what i said we live in time meaning that for the most part Time is always, always against many people. What is God doing? Deliverance. Bringing separations. Do you know the reason why we hold services every time ministering to people? You would think that because you've ministered once, if I had my way, every day or every week would be a miracle service in, a, in addition to teachings. You know why? And truly every week is. It's just that there are times dedicated for this. I'll tell you why, number one. Because at the point you are ministering to people, there are people who have not grown yet in their spiritual life to know that they need to receive. So you don't punish them because of their carelessness. By last month's miracle service, some of you had not seen the need for it. Now you are better prepared to receive. That's why God brings it again. And then there are newer people who are coming to the faith every week and every time. This is why in the package of a miracle service, there are provisions for everyone. If you have gotten to a point where your body has received the revelation of eternal life to live healthy, how about advancement? How about new wine? How about open doors? How about the assignment he gave you? Then how about your loved ones? Hmm. Hallelujah. How about poverty? How about failure? How about the attacks? There are certain attacks around your life now that you do not yet have the level of illumination to walk in the experience of victory. In. And if God does not create platforms like this for you to come under a prophetic covering to help you while you grow, you may not even leave for that ministry to start. God has called into an apostolic and a prophetic ministry. You have no idea the attacks that are before you. And so God brings you to be shielded. Even if you are Moses, he hides you for a while and allows you grow. Otherwise, if hell launches his attack and that attack meets with your ignorance, you will not even start the work in the first place. Yakare, Yakare. Ya kare su ya che ya kare Ya kare Ya kare Ya kare su ya che ya kare Ya kare It's finished Over in Christ Ya kare su ya che ya kare Thank you for staying to the end of this message But before you leave I want to tell you a story there was a father who has two sons and so he sent two of his sons to the farm like to go and harvest yam so he called them both and sent them the elderly one says he is going to go that he is going to like go on the errands but the younger one says he is not going to go and so they left the presence of the man and behold 
the one that says he will go to the farm does not actually went but the one who says he was not going to go at a point he thought within himself and said my father has been very responsible for me so i will go so he changed his mind and went so i want to ask among these two sons who actually does the will of the father it is the younger one so as you have listened to this message it's not about listening alone if you're listening and probably you feel stirred up but later on the zeal the passion that you had when you were listening to this message dies and you do not apply this message it means the time that you dedicated listening to them, to this message was a waste so it is not about what you share alone it's not about the messages that you listen to alone it is more of what you take out of th those messages and then apply to your daily lives to make you um better so i do hope and i pray that this message will transform your life will turn your life around.